Hello, my name is Dark Wolfheart, and uh, today I am showing off my Wii and Wii U games. Uh, most probably an underrated console. Definitely Nintendo's worst selling one, but one I quite enjoyed and had some good games on. So, uh, this first one, Endless Ocean 2, uh, basically you were scuba diving. You went scuba diving. A uh, very relaxing game, actually. Uh, you just wanted to sit back and just go under the sea, dive, learn, explore, train. Yeah, it was a good, relaxing game. Uh, so if you want something like that, I suggest getting that. Uh, next up is the uh, Metroid of Rem, uh, which was a cross between the classic Metroids and the Metroid Prime series. So if I remember rightly, uh, you went around in like a 2D side scrolling and then whenever you had to shoot, you had to go into first person mode. Uh, there, yeah, there you are. Two views. Um, I thought the game was alright. It's not the most rated one, but most Metro games you can't go wrong with. Um, I don't think there was a bad one so far. Uh, no, not really, but yeah. If you like Metroid, it's worth picking this one up. Uh, next is an arcade shooter. Uh, you know, the light gun games. Uh, Ghost Squad. Because uh, I didn't have too many shooters on the Wii, I uh, just bought this one. So yeah, it's just your standard arcade light gun shooting game. It's fun enough. It doesn't last too long. It goes on for about half an hour. Uh, so yeah. yeah. Next is most probably the best game uh, of this series. I know some people are going to say, oh, but Breath of the Wild is the best one. I like Twilight Princess. And um, I do have the one, uh, the, no, not the Switch release, the Wii U release as well, I believe. Do I have it here? I do. It'll come up later on in the video. Uh, but I think this is the best Zelda game. Uh, Breath of the Wild being a second. But then again, yet again, uh, Zelda games, pretty much all of them are all good. Apart from maybe Skyward Sword. Bit dodgy on that one. Next is uh, you're just your standard Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Wii U edition. Uh, yeah, it should. It's Tekken. So, uh, all I can say, really. Uh, my One of my uh, favourite horror, horror series did a light gun game, uh, which I think are very good. Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. Uh, you're drunk. Stand up, I think. No, you're not going to stand up, are you? Uh, so this was the first one. There is a sequel to this. Uh, if you like Resident Evil, you like light gun games, I recommend getting this. This, this, this was good fun. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say, really. Dragon Quest Swords. Uh, this is one of the released games for the Wii. And basically, it's not the RPG. You go along the road, and you either waggle the stick for the sword or pull up your shield, really. Yeah, it's, it's not the best Dragon Quest game. It looked nice. Uh, speaking of the Zelda, Skyward Sword, here it is. <coughs> the Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword. So, um, this was the first motion controlled Zelda. Well, technically it wasn't Twilight Princess was, but this was the one fully worked for the motion controls. Um, the Shawla. 25th anniversary edition orchestral in there as well, which is very nice. I mean, the game was fine. The tutorial went on too long, and the spirit which was in the Master Sword was annoying, but other than that, it's fine. Uh, one of the best fighters I play, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Of course, if you're gaming, you already know about this. Um, when it comes to these type of fighting games, you cannot beat Super Smash Brothers Brawl. I remember playing on the N64. Now, for you, uh, Hunters of monsters out there. Monster Hunter Free Try. One of the best Monster Hunters game to come out. Uh, so if you don't know about this, you play as a character. You've got 15 in this game. 15 different... Well, you got like around about 15 different types of weapons. And you go out into the land and you hunt monsters. Yeah, I know. Duh. <clears throat> Next up is... Uh, 
from a center second opinion so this originally not this one um came out on the ds and used the stylus to cut open stuff and sew people back together it's basically the same but it's on the wii yeah it was a fine fun game not too bad now the next game i think is one of the worst in its series uh mario kart wii i mean all mario kart games are fine i, I bloody well enjoy them uh, but this one, I thought the tracks were just... Was it this one I thought were too wide? Or was that Double Dash? I think... No, I think this one had... The, t the tracks just seemed too wide for it. Other than that, it's standard Mario Kart. It was good enough. Now, another in a series that I've talked about before that I enjoy. Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. So, yeah. They took a level from the first game and made a whole game out of it basically where you just went down the hills in each level uh, racing it was fine it's not the best Tony Hawk so but if you like Tony Hawk's it's worth a look next is another fighter from an anime series uh, Dragon Ball Z uh, Budokai Tentaki Tentakai Tentakai whatever that word is uh, number three ah. it's an interesting stand up uh, so yes, basically a fighting game, but set in the Dragon Ball Z. You most probably know what this is. There's hundreds of them now, so there's hundreds of the Naruto ones as well. All they do is keep the same game, but just give it a different skin usually. My Sims. Uh, <clears throat> this has to be one of my favorite games on the Wii. Uh, so basically, you took the Sims. You control one character, and you run around the town having people. It's nice, colorful, beautiful. Uh, yeah, it was just simple, fun, and relaxing, which is basically what most of the Wii games are, actually, just relaxing and fun. Apart from this next one, which was an 18, Mad World. So, this was done all in, like, a black and white cell shading. I stopped knocking everything over, as you can see there, and you just went around slaughtering people, and it was a fun, bloody game. Sadly, the combat got very repetitive quite quickly, um... But yeah, if you like just hack and slash and killing a load of things, recommend Mad World. One of the best RPGs to come out on the Wii. Uh, on the Wii, sorry. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. So it's your standard typical RPG. If you know about Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, then you've got good taste. If you don't know, it, pick, pick it up. I mean, the third one's out now. Uh, so uh, I highly recommend. And. I do have Xenoblade Chronicles, the definitive edition for the Switch as well, in the uh, collector's edition. That's all nice. Right, this character has some troubling times around about this age. Sonic and the Secret Rings. I must say this was the better Sonic game to come out around about that time. Uh, rather than the one where he turned into a werehog. What was it? Uh, I can't think of the top of my head. But yeah, Sonic went on a weird little road trip. And uh, this came out of it. It's, it was a fun game. Oh, it's still a fun game. Sorry, not worse. It still is a fun game. And I recommend... Uh, if you can pick this up really cheap, I recommend it. Uh, next, a Dreamcast hero. Night Journey of Dreams. Uh, so if you never play Knights, it's like 2D flying scroll, I should say. And you go around picking up crystals and hitting games. This wasn't quite as good as the Dreamcast, uh, but it was fine, if I remember rightly. It was okay. So. Uh, next, a game series where you uh, hit classic guitars talk about, you all knew. Guitar Hero World Tour. Yep, just more Guitar Heroes, more songs. Um, something to do with one of the... Uh, I don't want to say joysticks, but one of the you know, special control things. Anyway... Link's Crossbow Training, uh, which came packaged with your plastic sapper thing. I forget what it's called. And I don't have it anywhere around me at the moment. But, uh, yeah, so this was packaged with that. You can see this thing up here. Packaged with that. And you uh, hooked your controllers to it. And it was a light gun game, basically. More Guitar Hero. Wii Sports, and uh, 
Wii Sports Resorts. Uh, if you want two great games, I recommend buying these. I, I really recommend buying uh, the Resorts. It's a much better one. And that had the extra motion controls on and everything just felt so much better. The bowling, archery, everything. So if you haven't played these games, go out and buy them. Uh, bowling's all fun for the, all the... Bowling is fun for the whole family. Get my words out. Next one is a classic as well. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, so Mario went into space. And um, yeah, if you haven't played this platformer, get it. Why haven't you played it? A sequel to the horror earlier. Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles. So like I said, it's a light gun game. Uh, whereas the first one followed Resident Evil 1, 2, Co Veronica, and 3. I can't remember. I'm not, I'm not doing that. This had completely new stories in it. I'm starting to think this had Co Veronica Rex in it, actually. Um, I, can't, I can't remember. Fun games. I enjoyed them. Speaking of fun, Final Fantasy Crystal Bearers. Uh, quite a break for the uh, Final Fantasy series. Uh, this is part of the Crystal Chronicles series. Um, but I will talk about that when I get to GameCubes later on. Uh, yeah, so you played this, this guy. You went around this world doing stuff. It wasn't an RPG as such, but it was fun. I remember playing it. <laughs> I remember having fun at least. Not the most best Final Fantasy, but eh, it's fine. Uh, one of the worst first person shooters to come out on the uh, Wii. And that is Far Cry Vengeance. So they tried to put Far Cry onto the Wii and it didn't work. So they all used motion controls and it was absolutely horrendous. Speaking of horrendous controls, Red Steel, which wasn't as bad as. Red Steel 2 was just so much better, but <laughs> again, they tried to use motion controls for slashing swords and shooting guns, and it worked fine, uh, but the sequel was so much better. Next is uh, another series I've talked about, uh, SSX Blur, so uh, we all know SSX, and it came out on the Wii. Uh, the prequel to the sequel I was talking about earlier endless ocean so if you just want some relaxing swimming underwater just chilling out get this game well the second one's better but you can't get the second one get the first one now for a football game uh mario strikers charged football so i do have the football one for the gamecube and this was the obviously the follow-up to it uh yeah it was great fun i had fun playing with my mates uh basically you're just Mario characters playing soccer over the top soccer basically sorry football I meant football not soccer not American now a sequel to that platform and that we yeah, I said about earlier I keep uh, sequels and prequels you know uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 I reckon it's the best Super Mario Gal um best Super Mario game there is um every Super Mario game's great don't get me wrong but I think this one's the best don't even try to argue. Yeah, I won't win. Uh, coming on to mostly Wii U games now. Darksiders 2. So yeah, it's a, it was like an open world hack and slash. Good fun. Good, just good, clean fun. Uh, I recommend that one. Now, if you like Dynasty Warriors, you have Hyrule Warriors. Uh, so imagine Dynasty Warriors, but with Zelda characters instead. Recommend this as well. And another fighting game with the classic uh, characters all in it. Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. So yeah, like uh, earlier I said about the Smash Bros. for the Wii. This is the Wii U version with more characters and everything. Fantastic. Get it. Now, speaking of getting it. Mario Kart 8. Uh, yeah, this is the best Mario Kart. It's so good. I, it got ported onto the Switch and it is still being updated today. And I think there are some new tracks coming out soon. Buy that if you want the best experience on a Mario Kart. Now this next one was a very underrated uh, RPG. This is a fantastic RPG. And if you missed it, try and buy it and go and play it. The Last Story. Um, yeah. Uh, I can't say too much about it. 
uh, just trying to explain the controls would take me forever. But it's an RPG. Just go, just go out and buy it. Just trust me on it. And if you want some platforming fun, Super Mario Bro U's. And we all know what it is. Uh, if you want to get a little bit uh, terrified, a bit, a little bit frightened, a bit of horror, Zombie U. So this is a first person set in London, and you're just trying to survive and escape, escape from the zombies. Not much more needs to be said, really. But then I have talked about this because I've got this for the PS3, but I bought it for the Wii U as well. I don't know why. Uh, Deus Ex uh, Human Revolution, the Director's Cut. And then, like I said about earlier, my favourite Zelda, the Wii U version, Twilight Princess. And this came with the Amiibo, but I don't have the Amiibo on me. It's on one of my shelves in the front room. Buy this game if you like Zelda. It is the best one. In my opinion. And then, if you want some really good first-person light gun game, How's the Dead Overkill? Bloody brilliant. A lot of, lot of swearing, but it's very fucking good. And then last but not least, they did a 25th anniversary edition of uh, Super Mario All-Stars. So there you go. Uh, you must know these games. Uh, Super Mario All-Star and all that. Uh, came in a nice box. Well, I say nice box. Uh, I ripped it, of course. And it comes with a uh, history booklet and a soundtrack CD. So, uh, it was fine for what it is. Uh, yeah, a little bit of nostalgia. We will leave it at that. You're not going to stand up, are you? You're going to get drunk as well. Right, and that's all my games for the Wii and Wii U. So I think the next ones I'm going to be looking at will be the DS. And then to finish off my collection will be the GameCube. So that'll be in the next couple of weeks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you again. Goodbye.